is good y'all you know the vibes john d saunders here in today's video i'm going through the way i properly vet prospects through our form on our website and walk you through those steps let go now if you go to our website you'll see our contact form which takes you off site to a type form now type form is a third party platform that lets you make really dynamic super clean forms we like it because it makes longer forms seem more simple. It has a bunch of really cool integrations and we can set up Zapier to add integrations to it where it pushes form completions to Slack and Asana and all this really cool stuff. So it just makes our process easier. So let me walk you through the form that we've worked on mastering the last five to six years. We get uh, about four to six inquiries per day. Some of them are fake, right? People just trying to learn what our contact form is. So I wanted to make this video to show you and you can use this for any service-based business to properly vet prospects and get rid of tire kickers. So first thing we do is we keep it friendly, really dynamic conversation. Keep it as if you're talking to someone one-on-one -on -one and uh, we keep it simple. So it starts with ready to collaborate. We're happy to help. Please complete the quick form and expect a quick reply from our team. We say that because we have an automatic email reply, which I'll get into uh, soon. Also check the comments below. I have this doc here with all the links and things you need to get this done so we're gonna hit start now first thing is i keep it fun let's dive in first what is your name i'm going to put john a uh, great thing here is you can put example as well i put sean carter i'm a big jay-z fan so you know a little bit of an easter egg in there then perfect what's the name of the brand company agency let's just call it abc co you're gonna hit okay thanks what is your email to at aol.com that's fine Great, what is the best phone number to reach you? I'm just gonna do 999-999-9999. I think that's too many numbers. Uh, and then sounds good, can you share your website URL? Perfect, so just to reiterate, we've captured already their name, their, uh, their, their email, their phone number, and their website URL. So we can already start to kind of make an informed decision there. And then they can choose their services. We make this dynamic so that they can choose more than one, um, but I'm gonna choose one for now. I'm going to pick web design and development. Now, this is probably the most important question on your form, and this will help get rid of folks that don't necessarily fit your criteria. So I recommend anyone that has a service-based business that you have a minimum level of engagement. This is the minimum price that you'll work on a project. Now, what will happen here is if someone has a $5,000 budget, $8,000 budget, they might say, okay, well, if they start at 10, then this probably won't be the best fit for me. And they'll leave, right? They won't complete the form. Now, this is going to help me because if this question wasn't here, people would say, hey, you know, I'm ready to jump on a chat. You jump on a call with them and they might say, hey, my budget is 2000 Now, if you're a startup, you're just starting out, that's okay. You can find an agency that can do that. That's not where we're at at the agency right now. And so we're able to get not rid of folks, but able to vet properly so that we can get on the phone with really highly qualified prospects. So let's just hit 10 to 15. Um, so when you ask the question, just say something like what type of budget have you allocated? And then in the notes, our minimum level of engagement for project begins at 10,000 for branding and website design. So that way off the bat, people know what to expect. Hit okay. Anything else you would like to add? Sometimes they add like a quick little uh, blurb or info about the brand. I like to keep it fun and lighthearted. Feel free to tell us a bit about your project timeline or a good joke. We love good jokes. I thought that was funny and then hit okay. So as soon as they fill this out, it pushes to our Slack channel. Um, I'll show you an example of what that looks like. So in our Slack, and I've, I have some dummy content here. In our Slack, we have this. These two leads came in, right? And I can see all the information. So as soon as it comes in, I've got Slack on my phone as well as my desktop. I know when that lead comes in. Now what's going to happen here, and let me close this so y'all can see, is we've set up two zaps. One zap is, Anytime someone fills out the form, it automatically pushes to them an email. Now, Zapier is a platform that lets you uh, communicate between apps. So if this app does this, then this app does that. So anytime someone fills out that type form, it automatically pushes them an email. Now, depending on how they fill out that form, and I'll go into that in another uh, video, it'll send them an email. So what we've done here is we've added that prospect form, and we usually start out with, Thanks for contacting 5-4. Let's schedule a call. And then the content includes, hello, first name. My name is John at the name of your agency. We would love to discuss your business goals. When is a good time for you? So then we 
uh, stagger these links. The first link is Calendly. This is linked to my calendar. Calendly is a really great tool for um, letting people be able to book events when they need to. And it's just a really, it's based on your calendar. So if you're using Gmail or whichever calendar you use, it'll automatically pull up the times that you're available and that person will be able to book a call. So that's all automated. We don't even have to touch anything. Then the most important thing in this email is having that Calendly link. And then the second thing is social proof. You want to be able to prove to folks they've already visited your site. They filled out the form, but you need to add additional proof so that they know they know they're working with the best. And so I'll have recent reviews, which will go to our Google links page. I'll have recent case studies, which goes to our case study page on the website. And then I'll have a link to our YouTube channel in case they want to catch some fire videos. And now they could say, okay, well, we know they have great reviews. We know they have a ton of case studies and we know they know what they're doing because they have a YouTube channel that has relevant content. So we're adding that social proof as a value add once we send this email out. And so that's pretty much the form. I'm not going to go into crazy specifics because I want to make this simple and really effective for folks to use. So again, just to reiterate, the tools are Typeform. We're using two Zaps, Typeform to Zapier. I'm sorry, Typeform to, um, I think I messed up here. Typeform to uh, Slack. There we go. There we go. Let's fix that. Slack. And then the last one is Zapier and then a new entry to email. So Typeform entry to email. And then we're using Calendly. For tips, you know, keep the form light and fun. Collect crucial info, including name, phone, email, budget. Be sure to mention your minimum engagement price. That's crucial. Make it short and sweet. Ours is under six minutes. Provide tips throughout so people can walk through that flow and then follow up quickly. You can do automated email for this. Thank you all for checking the video. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. This can work with any service-based industry to help properly vet folks. I'm also gonna include links to the tools that I use. And again, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all next week. Peace.